Well, anyone that's ever thrown a dart in the vague direction of a dartboard probably knows what the best checkout is. Um, and that might be 170, the big fish, or it might just be a modest two dart or that at your level is something you were really proud of at the time. Um, so yeah, my my top three, if you like, in reverse order. This one three three. This is a a reconstruction, by the way. I haven't just thrown it. I may never throw it again. And by the way, they certainly didn't get all as nicely in the centre of the the bed as that. I'm sure. But yeah, one three three. And what was great about this this one was um, it wasn't at home. It was out. It was a few guys from work. We were, we were all off a Friday. We actually met for a breakfast uh, and then like played some sort of late morning, lunchtime, early afternoon darts. So there was three or four of us, four or five of us, I think, actually. And when you hit something like that in front of people, then just for that sort of couple of seconds, that minute or two, you can give it large a bit. So I did. enjoyed it. Uh, first dart, pretty shoot. Yeah, the first dart was down downstairs, actually. Which, I don't know if that's weird or not. Probably just because it's an, even, an odd number. Um, and I didn't know this route. Now, it's not... I, you don't need to be Einstein to figure out how to take out 133. All I mean is... It wasn't automatic, like, stored in my memory bank of, of what you go for on 133. So I think I've just actually thrown... Even... Uh, so you just saw my bit of paper there. I just, yeah, I've got, I've got, I had to write down a few of these checkouts. But, yeah, um, I think I just threw at the odd number because I was on an odd number. And then when it went in, it was, ooh, interesting. What's that leave? Ah, 76. And then a lovely finish thereafter. So I'm just going to pause it now and set up my second best ever checkout. Okay, so at number two... It was, I've thrown a 152. So, well, 19 of a greater number than 133. So a better checkout. But it's interesting. Um, I probably didn't take as much satisfaction from this one. For two reasons. Firstly, I was on my own. Uh, playing against my cousin, who lives 500 miles away. Um, in an online match. And, you know. You just don't get quite as much joy from it. But you still know, wow, good darts. And it's nice to think of him seeing that I've checked out 152 in the screen and thinking, what's happened there? Um, so, you know, lovely. But interesting, also from a technical point of view, correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, just my opinion. Correct me if you disagree, but because these two darts are in the same segment, I kind of feel it's a little bit easier. Not that I'm good enough to use one dart as a guide, but the 133, three, you've had to throw them all, you know, in isolation. Everyone talks about 180s. 161s is probably a better shot on a technical basis. The treble 20, the treble 18, the treble 90. But I remember, you know, the first one went in. I had, a, I had had a few drinks, to be honest. But I do remember the second one just sort of following it in lovely lovely stuff and now for the number one my best ever checkout and there we have it the diabolical darts number one the best checkout i've ever done 158 very similar to the 152 i just spoke about first two darts obviously in the treble 20 and that left me 38 an unconventional double for me but in it went so highest numerical checkout. Also, I was uh, down the down the pub. Um, there was a few of us out, and I actually think that was uh, a doubles we're playing, a doubles match. It was four or five of us. So yeah, plenty of eyes on that one. Enjoyed it, um, and that would have been October twenty twenty one or thereabouts. So superb. What does that leave me in the tank? Well, there's not many higher numbers you can do because 159 doesn't go. 
Um, neither does 162, 163, 165 or 166 or 168, 169. So actually it only leaves probably four or five more checkouts that can go. I think realistically I could do a 160. First two in the treble, then, then one on top. Um, obviously the ambition would be to do the 170. I don't think I'll ever do the 170. I don't hit bullseye very often at all. In terms of near misses, um, I've missed the bullseye for a 161. So the treble 20, treble 17. And when I say I missed the bullseye, I hit the 25. So, I, you know, not a wayward miss. So that was unlucky. But yeah, so 160, 161, 164, 167, and the big fish 170. That's that's all I can beat this by. May never beat it. Absolutely may, may never beat it. But, hey, it's not just the size that matters in terms of the number. Going to give honourable mentions when you check out three in two darts, or say five and two darts, seven and two darts, or as I quite often find myself, I quite often find myself on nine, and I have to hit a single one, double four. Th those numbers aren't big, but if you take that out in three darts or even two darts, it, it's impressive because it's a combination shot. Um, you're not on the double, and you can bust your score very easily. So, yeah. For me, the sort of, you know, the fantasy sort of takeout would be probably 160 or, or anything above that. But I do also have one other shot, which I hope one ambition I've got is to take out 96, but my own unique way, 96, three darts in treble, uh, double 16. I know that's not the way to go, it's ludicrous. I'm usually very boring, you know, I'm not the sort of person that throws at bulls high when I've got three darts or two darts in hand. I like to do things the sort of prop, you know, the, the percentage way, if you like. But I've just got this weird, um, this weird sort of compulsion that when I'm on 96, I, I will get three doubles in double 16. And as long as I don't throw outside, it's not a disaster. First start, if it's single, you're going double, double on tops. So not recommending that as a way to go, but that's just, that's just my sort of double digit sort of fantasy checkout. And I'm going to finish this video off by drawing it. Well, that's why I'll never do it. These are the first darts I've thrown, by the way. No, got one of the double eight there. But it is quite funny when you're playing a match down the pub, you're on 96, and if people don't know you, they see you thrown down here and they think, and I think you're an idiot, or you don't know what you're doing, or you're absolute garbage. Um, all, all may be applicable, but on 96, I think the shot eventually would certainly be treble 20 for double 18. But yeah, a quick run through there, my best checkouts, dream checkouts, ambition checkouts, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, do let me know what your best checkout is. Thanks for watching.